Hey guys, it's Dino. This is a mini episode covering for getting the souls of light. Um, not to get mixed with any other souls. All, all of them are different. There's quite a few. Um, due to certain reasons, uh, I'm going to use this solution to make more hollow. So we have a higher chance of getting souls of light here. Alright, so after a few minutes of spreading the rainbow land, or the hollow, I found some of the hollow enemies starting to spawn. You'll get the souls of light in the caves of the hollow. So, deep caves, or just... It doesn't have to be too deep, just be in the cavern lair, at least. And just kill these guys. These illuminate guys. Oh, he's dead. Alright. Swim boom boom. Alright. A quick tip on these guys. Um... You don't want to mess with the ice turtles, or just the tortoises in general. Um, they hit really hard. And the illuminate enemies hit pretty hard too when you're starting out in hard mode. So, I'm making a... Just kind of a choke point they all have to go through. Makes it easier for me to take them out. Thinking tactical. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's working, so... Oh, I'm slow. Yeah, they'll put debuffs on you. What the heck is that noise? What the? Just appeared. I guess one of those guys don't show up until you defeat a certain boss. That was weird. Alright then. Anyways. Yeah, if you fight some giant multi-finned fish in the sea, those guys would spawn, I believe. I'm pretty sure they spawn after that boss was killed. Unless I'm wrong. I forget a lot of things in this game, but that's what happens when you have a monkey brain. Alright, so, if you find one of these altars, use your pawn hammer, destroy it, and boom, your world has been blessed with more hard mode metal. Very useful. Speaking of that metal, make sure you grab that as you're going along with this video here. It's a orangish, like a very bright orange colored ore. Uh, it's the next level ore you're going to need. You can't really skip to the next ore after that, because the pickaxe won't let you. It won't let you mine it, so don't try to cheese your way through this. I mean, there's probably a way. I just don't do that, because I play the game as is. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, wow, what a coincidence. There's the ore right there. That's what it looks like. I guess it's not as bright of an orange as I thought it was. But yeah, this is gonna what you're going to use... You're going to need your molten tools for it, created from before you killed the wall of flesh. Hopefully you paid attention to that video. If you didn't, rewatch the video, because that's how you get your molten armor and tools. Obsidian and hellstone. I mean, netherite. Yeah. Uh, so, collect souls of light. Collect that um, palladium. Palladium? I, I don't know how to spell it. I don't know how to pronounce it. That stupid trap. Um, just grab that ore, because you're going to need it. Uh, I'll cover for that in the next video. And for corruption, you guys will be looking for cobalt. It's blue. It's like that ore. It's still, it's kind of like that same color tone, but blue. Yeah. Corruption and crimson have different ores. I think I said that way back then. But I'm going to speed up the video. It's pretty much just going to be committing mass murder on the ecosystem. So if you want to skip this part, you may go ahead. All right, so after killing a ton of souls of light, creatures, I found some more of that ore. You'll find more and more of it as you go around. And there's an altar underneath underneath me too. So we can get some more ores blessed into our world. I wouldn't say it's really a blessing. I mean, none of this. None of this. Let's just say that um, a lot of these things are not a blessing in this world. Fighting wall made out of raspberries. I mean, come on. <laughs> I guess a horse is a blessing. Some of them. Want to do is chill my house and just rest, man. Be forced to kill these gods. 
They probably didn't even do anything wrong, man. I just came in and rolling up with my combat shotgun and be like, Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Cause you seem like you have high high level loot. You know? And the god's like, oh, oh I'm scared. And then he gets destroyed. It's dead. Yeah, there's a lot of spiders here. Okay. Thankfully I don't really get as scared of spiders as everyone else. There's one day where I picked up a wolf spider. I literally just pet it. Just pet the thing. Just picked it up and pet it. Most spiders are pretty much harmless. I, I, very few can actually hurt you. There's uh, the Black Widow, obviously a classic. Everyone knows that one. That's a common one in the US. We got the, the Brown Recluse, which is another one mostly found in the US. Um, quick thing to know, I mean, useful information, honestly. Uh, Brown Recluse has a violin um, like imprint on its back. So you can tell the difference between that and grass spiders and wolf spiders because they all look the same for the most part other than that imprint and then you got the brazilian wandering spider which can kill you can straight up just kill you they are aggressive uh anyways i'm getting off topic here so once you get enough souls of light and palladium pallid pal i'm naming it i'm gonna stop trying once you get that ore that orange ore or the blue depending whether you're in corruption or crimson quick reminder crimson you get to palladium Corruption, you get the cobalt. Right. Anyways, you get that ore, you get the souls of light. Uh, for uh, classic players, keep that souls of light safe in the chest. You're gonna need it for better wings and other things. Um, and journey users, once you get 25 of that souls of light, yes, it is a grind. Um, but once you get enough of it, you can save that in your uh, research, your blueprints. So you just have an unlimited source of it. That's why I like journey mode. You got your creative and your survival in one game mode. It's like, jeez, why can't any other survival games do this this way? Like, seriously. Anyways, once you get those two, you're good to go. And head back to base, and we can start crafting. Thank you guys for watching the video. I know it was a little longer than a normal mini episode. Uh, but if you liked the video, uh, like and subscribe. Thank you, and the next one will be uh, covering for that war.